one's for the weirdos. Wow. Oh my god, it's Gabby oh, Shell. So oh my god, this is so cool. Remember the epidemic about five years ago when every YouTuber and influencer was making a book? And then the trend that I hope is dead is influencers and YouTubers suddenly making music. I'm not talking about YouTubers that have always loved music, always loved doing music. I'm talking about the influencers who only started doing music because their manager said it might be a good idea to make some money. Which is in the same breath what happened with the books. Because I promise you Gabby Hanna didn't get the inspiration to write a poetry book and then put things like this in it. Some of these poems were written because inspiration struck. Others were written because I had a deadline. So we'll only wonder what the new influencer cash grab is going to be after the anyone can drop a song trend. But weirdly enough, this subculture of modern society adopted this trend of making music for no good reason. No one asked them to. It's not like it makes sense because that subculture of pop culture is cryptocurrency. And NFTs, of course. Let's just say who we're talking about today. You may have seen some people talking about these beautiful cringe music videos already, but I wanna talk about them today because now the new trend in the crypto and NFT space these days is to drop music videos about crypto and about NFTs. Where I hold crypto land tokens. It's weird because it feels like these influencers' music videos were like paid out by big crypto, ocean seas, open skies, what is that website called? It's like if people were making songs about how good paper money is for the US government. Oh, that's every song now. Money. The first song on our hit list today is by Razzle Khan. Razzle Khan, the first song you better win. Yep. From Heather Morgan, who is one part of the couple that got busted for laundering $3.6 billion in cryptocurrency related to some hack in 2016 that stole a shit ton of crypto money. Oh, did I say $3.6 billion? Sorry, that's just how much the government seized. This couple was arrested for laundering $4.5 billion in stolen crypto. Oh my god. So she might seem like this top tier hacker criminal, but really, she's just a girl that loves crypto and loves music. Grandmother crocodile, weirder than an X file. Listen, I know putting music out there is opening yourself up to criticism. Not everyone's gonna like your music, especially as a, a small indie artist who's a billionaire like Razzle Khan. And art can be so personal. I'm obviously not the best singer, best musician, best producer out there. But you know, I think, I think this might not be a good song. Never forget, weirdest is most original. So I guess she's admitting to the crime right away, which is uh, a good. We love an honest criminal. Isn't that right, James Charles? I'm desperate. Russell Khan, the first up, you better win. Come real far, but don't know where I'm heading. Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. So as you can tell already, these lyrics are amazing. The flow is amazing. It's really well crafted, I think. If we can get Anthony Fantano to, to phone in here, that'd be great. That was cringe. Yeah. That was trash. Okay, great. That was trash. He cringe. says this is a masterpiece. Russell Kong, the first up, you better win. Come real far, but don't know where I'm heading. I really like this line because it ties into what I said last video. Nothing is fact for me, and I'm confused all the time. I think I'm gonna put this on a shirt. Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. Silver on my fingers and boots on my feet. Silver on my fingers and boots on my feet. Okay. I really love when rappers flow like this. It's almost like a combination of like a nursery rhyme and like Shakespeare and Eminem, perhaps. Come so far, but don't know where I'm headed. Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. Silver on my fingers and boots on my feet. Like, it's like they're asking a question every line. Da -da -da, da -da -da. It's like when you can tell that someone's reading a script because they'll always, it's like every video essay these days because they'll read it like this. And that's why we think Luigi's background is darker than you think. Even Mario and Peach ended up moving cross country before the official lore begins, just to escape Luigi. Especially when Mario spends all game getting away from Luigi in Paper Mario Origami King. Comment below if you think Luigi should have been in prison or not. Make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Always be a goat, not a goddamn sheep. Email me, fuck your message at the beep. 
I like this one because you want to get in touch with her so you send her a nice written email but really the email is being transcoded onto a 2005 answering machine on her landline and even then she doesn't appreciate my kind email email me fuck your message at the beep she says fuck your message at the beep are you kidding me spirit of a revolutionary power of a dictator love to be contrary but i'm fly like a gator i got pilot blood i'm a real risk taker there have been we're 40 seconds in and there have been so many mentions of different animals we've had sheep hold on let's start from the beginning crocodiles goats sheep and now gators what other animals are you gonna mention in this badass money maker grandmother crocodile weirder than an egg no <laughs> don't bring the elderly into this file free fire there's silver everywhere on this woman. We've got more like silver on my, you got silver on your finger. You got silver on your poop, on your poopy. Now what? Silver on my finger and silver on my poop. Okay, we have two more animals to add to the list. I'm gonna make a tally of all of these. She's implying dragon breathing fire. And then when she slithers, uh, she's a snake. She is basically Beast Boy from Teen Titans. <laughs> this is this isn't even his final form. Motherfucking crocodile of Wall Street. Silver on my fingers and boots on my feet. Always be a goat, not a goddamn sheep. I love I love the background dancers in this. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> this one on the left doesn't know if she's gonna go for like a this type of move or if she's trying to go for one of these and then the girl on the right is doing like some some pop sugar fitness class she's doing some high knees over here all right come on girls five more reps we got this hold on also i'm sorry i'm so sorry to this poor girl i just keep coming back to her she's wearing an orange cowboy hat green kitchen gloves and it, it looks like a lab coat from medical school. If this doesn't scream cool crypto, I don't know what does. Russell comes the name that hot grandma. You really want to bang. <laughs> Is she a grandma? She's referenced grandma before. I thought it was just a passing comment, but that hot grandma, you really want to. I hate this. Hot grandma, you really want to bang. Always run the guilt game ever since I was 15. Fifteen. She's been a grandma since she was fifteen. <gasps> Something sounds illegal, and it's not your money laundering this time. I'm many things: a rapper, an economist, a journalist, a writer, a CEO, and a dirty, 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 dirty hoe. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being proud of being a four times dirty, 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 dirty hoe. However, this imagery is hilarious. She's, I need to get my banana, my certified video banana. Journalist, a writer, a CEO, and a dirty, 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 dirty hoe. Better than most writers, creepier than most girls, weirder than most rappers. I am definitely creeped out, this is true. Creepier than most girls. Why did she do that? She's done that multiple times, like she's wanking off on us. Is this supposed to be a dominance move? Is this her animal? Her Wall Street animal? Is this what gators and crocodiles of Wall Street do? Is this to mark your territory? Because I feel, I feel very beta right now. Stop about to pop, ain't going quit. They say rise a filthy bitch, but they're jealous of my tits, my eyes, my nose, my bling, my clothes, these rings, my hose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Everyone worries too much about what's proper, but not rouse, no shame, bad, don't stop her. Blindly following rules is for fools. She did it proper, again. But not fuck your game, Austin Romance. Rather be taken, a taxidermy class. Again with the animals. Prefer Vietnam over France. Doing my jerk. Prefer Vietnam over France. Like in general, or like I, do you want to take the taxidermy class there? Doing my jerk off damn. Looking like a gay male stripper, but my synesthesia world is even trippier. <laughs> and then she ends her song here with a... Uh, like she's a, a bad ghost on Halloween. So things I learned from crypto mastermind Razzlecon here is animals, grandmas, asserting your dominance, and that's it. The next victim for this video happens to be someone related to someone I love making videos about. Connecting with people. Mark Zuckerberg, but his sister. Did you know he had a sister? 
Me neither. Yeah! Apparently she also went to Harvard and used to be Facebook's director of market development. And guess what? She sings. <laughs> Luckily, I'll spare you today from that genre of rap, but unfortunately, I will have to put you through this. We'll fight yeah! like hell. Yeah! We'll hold. Yeah! yeah, so you might be wondering why Randy Zuckerberg is into crypto and NFTs. Um, I couldn't tell ya, but I do know that she has a NFT Twitter profile picture. Her latest project, the NFT platform Hug, emphasizes carving out a space for women in tech and finance, and that's what she wants to do through her music. So Randy's less bad probably than Razzlecon. If her greatest crime is being cringe, then I'm okay with that. <laughs> thing I noticed about this this music video is that it kind of suffers from the same problem Razzle Khan's song had was that the flow didn't match the song I, I so apparently Randy was in Harvard's acapella group which makes sense like she can obviously sing well I just think the style of song doesn't fit with her voice Razzle Khan's song was just offbeat I don't think she could find the flow but Randy's is more like we're all gonna make it yeah we're all gonna make it everyone that one girl in choir class that doesn't know that she should stop doing an intense vibrato it's very <laughs> It's giving musical theater kid. That's, you know what? That makes a lot of sense for how I feel about this. I love all the crypto slang she's throwing in here. It's like an educational video. You're learning the capitals of the United States through a song. You know, you're doing your ABCs and then you're doing the, the wagamama, wag me, wagweed, ragweed. I'm allergic to that. So now we're introduced to the storyline of this music video. They're, you know, for women empowerment and everything, and this, there's this very confused man. And he's he's all confused. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get the, the crypto hype. We won't get rugged if things go right. We won't get rugged if things go right. Now I know this one. This one's referring to getting rug pulled, which is when the owner of a crypto cranks up the... <laughs> It's like I'm doing an old school boxing match. Hey, you want to tussle? When they boost up the value of the coin, they crank it up. And then when it gets to its peak and it's at its most expensive, they they sell all of their shares before anyone else can. They take all the money and now the value of the coin goes back to zero. And everyone who invested in that coin now has nothing and will it will never probably have any value ever again. So ATH is all time high. And what I was saying earlier, Wagamama or Wagme is we're all gonna make it. That's the acronym. GM is good morning. GN is good night. It's all crypto, baby. Like hell. Yeah. We'll hold. Yeah. I'll sell. No. Oh, you stupid idiot man. Don't you know anything? No. You gotta hold, hold on to the value of Dinkelberg coin, or whatever coin Logan Paul was shilling. Well, this is a shit coin I believe in. Hold on to the value. Never sell it, because I will sell it first so I can make the money. We're all gonna make it. LFG! Yeah! We're all gonna make it. LFG! Which means let's flip and go. Hey, at least she's not singing about being a, an old grandma you want to bang. 
So it's very musical theater of her to, you know, at the end of the song and then there's people yelling different things or like them talking, singing. It's like, yeah, let's go. We're all gonna make it. And the guy at the end seems to be uh, going with it. He seems like he really enjoys this. He's now more educated, as are we, about the crypto slang that exists. You know, I, I've I crapped on both of these songs enough today. And you know how people say like, okay, can you do better? You know, I, I wanna put that to the test. They've inspired me. I, I feel enlightened. I feel like I should write a song about crypto and how how great it is how wonderful it is wag me here i come this one's for the weirdos yeah. this one's for you dave at my mom like that. heart caught on the crypto nft on the brain don't sleep on doggy coin cause you'll wake up with grandma these boots were made for walking all the way to the moon. 